Welcome to PlayStation Versus. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sony's crusade to be inclusive to all um, is continuing possibly with uh, God of War. So there's been some things on the Twitterverse where, you know, um, that came up uh, with Ratchet and Clank. So we all seen the trailer where there's a female Ratchet or whatever it may be. And apparently within the lore, a female Lombax, which is the species of Ratchet, cannot have a tail. And she clearly does. So that sparked like, okay, so she is probably transgender. Which also sparked another conversation where, you know, someone asked, because of this situation, please don't make Kratos uh, gay. Which Corey responded with FNP's by, which in Greek mythology, that happened all the time. Um, so another conversation where someone involved David Jaffe, which was the original creator of God of War, um, said, listen, I have no problem with that. And I responded to David Jaffe, like, why retcon it? Why, why don't you make their own story? M make their own story. Like, don't change things from existing characters that had their own characteristics and traits, which he responded typically. Um, what's wrong with being gay? You know, what's wrong with being bi? And I'm saying there's nothing wrong with it. But who wants to be a token gay character or a token black person or a token Asian person just for the sake of inclusion? You know what I mean? That's the problem. Don't retcon shit to appease people. There's demographics that you have to follow. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not for everyone. Everybody has their own taste. And people want to go to war for a specific flair, for specific tastes. And that's fine. That shouldn't be a problem. But when you sit there and delete the other people that like that series, just a piece of someone else. That's where the problem lies. When we kind of hashed it out, we, it's fine. But still, why? Why? You know what I'm saying? Wreck on it. Now, if Atreus turns out to be gay, that's a brand new character in the series, and that's okay. If you looked at Norse mythology, he was a shapeshifter and he turned into females and fucked dudes. That's how he did it. I have no problem with that. The wreck on shit, I definitely, definitely. So Nintendo actually has their, they had their, their little direct, I believe, yesterday um, from this video. And, you know, um, I don't know how long it was since they had their last direct, but uh, it's been a while. And one of the things that they actually showed is uh, the Zelda Skyward Sword, which is a port um, going to N Nintendo Switch, I believe, in sometime in June. Um, and... It seems that Nintendo could do whatever they want. And when it comes to other companies, whether it be Microsoft or Sony, they get blasted for this shit. Like they get just blasted. Like for no reason. It's just for instance, you got this Demon Souls. They say that this was a, a, a remake, a remaster, which is a remake. Um, and people complained. Why is it $70? This game came out, you know, 10 years ago, 11 years ago, whatever the case is, I forgot. Um, and people were like really kind of upset about that. But then Nintendo comes out and they come up with this port. It's a port, like a full on port that's $60. You've already made the game. It's been out for a mad long. And, you know, people were actually mad about the, the port of Spider-Man. Uh, going to the PS5, which that one was a re remastered. But why is it that Nintendo could do this and they could release their games? Is it because their games hold more value? But from my understanding, a lot of people didn't even like Skyward Sword. You know what I'm saying? It was too easy. But that's the question I have. You guys got to look at it. Look at the differences between Nintendo and the shit that Nintendo actually can get away with. They are charging you $60 for this old ass game. It's not even any other package. It's just a clearer version and not even 1080p. It's just a fucking, it's an old ass game. Just think about that shit. OMG, OMG, here we go again with this bullshit again. Talking about the PlayStation 5 is not RDNA 3. So RDNA 3 is supposed to be basically RDNA 2 but with some Infinity Cash and just some RDNA 2 stuff with Infinity Cash as well. It is so fucking extra and stupid and stupid and stupid. I can't even go on to say how, many, how much stupid it is in here. 
Mark Sony, uh, Cerny has basically already stated from the jump that this is going to be edited or, you know, customized hardware. So did Sony. But most people are like, oh, the, the CPU has some things cut out. And, and, and you're not a developer, so you don't even know what it means. But obviously a company that needs to mass produce a console and have to balance out how you know how it makes games and how it you know is performance to engines and stuff like that you have to cut savings somewhere so that people can buy your shit and then add the save or, or take that savings and put it somewhere else where it can be beneficial to the game engines like cash scrubbers i don't know why you're not listening to the engineer which is amd or mark cerny when it comes to the shit that they've said most of the third party games have performed at or better than the series x which is supposed to be a much powerful console than the ps5 that should already let you know something else is a, is a rock something else is fucking going on whether they cut the floating per point units in half or whatever the fucking case is look at the results the xbox series x is not going to get any better there's something they cut out and it's not benefiting the fucking game or anything of that nature. And they can cut this shit out for, for the PlayStation uh, side of things because it's not doing Microsoft Word or anything like that. I mean, use your fucking brain, my God.